Hello everybody, and welcome back to YTFL Game Day. Yes, it is I, Jonathan J. Johnson. I have returned after a week straight of running the police forces. And with no other choice, this wonderful company called AGSN was forced to rehire me. How are you not in jail? You'd be surprised with what a little bit of money can do. Well, you didn't miss much really last week. Just more blowouts. Game Theory took Jacksepticeye's place in the top four. But I mean, other than that, you really didn't miss much. Well, that's interesting. Now let's- H Hang on a minute, I I I've got a question. What is your question? Why did you kill Evan? I mean, I'm not devastated by his death or anything, but- why? I just want to know why you killed him. Well, after I went through unemployment that week, I decided to get my job back by whatever means necessary. And I did. But you didn't have to kill him. He was blind, for God's sake. Well, I just put him out of his misery, let's put it that way. That's f***ed up, man. I, I've, I've got a really bad feeling about all of this now. I can assure you, everything is fine. Now, uh, where were we? Ah, yes, the predictions part. We can't forget those. We can't forget... No, 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 we cannot. Now, since uh, this last week's video was over 40 minutes long, yes, I, I watched these things, uh, we're going to keep this rather short. All right, let's see. We got number two criticals at number four game theory up first. That should be a good one. Now, I'm going to take criticals in this one, 28 to 21. Nice pick. I'm also taking criticals on this one. 14 to 7. Well, it's good to see that things are back to normal around here. Alright, next up we have the Battle of Septiplier. Markiplier at Jack Septiplier. Now, I'm fully expecting Jack Septiplier to bounce back here, and he'll do just that with the win over Markiplier. 35 to 21. Well, funny you say that because I have Markiplier winning this one. 24 to 21. Well, I guess you're still tempted to pick against me sometimes, and I snap for I won't go against you for that. But anyway, we got a battle between the bottom feeders of the league up next. Mr. Highlight at PewDiePie. Call me crazy, but I'm taking Mr. Highlight in it. 24 to 21. Well, I guess we both belong in an asylum, because I'm also taking Mr. Highlight in this one. 21 to 17. Alright, it's time for our primetime game, and let's see who we got. No way, you're, you're kidding me, right? I know, that's what I said the first time I saw the schedule a couple weeks ago. I mean, I knew it would happen, because everyone plays everybody, but... At primetime? I can't believe it. It's... I can't believe it happened this early. Well, ladies and gentlemen, apparently for our primetime game, we have the biggest rivalry in the series, Tuckman at Alex Die. I don't know about you, but this could be a preview for the upcoming YTFL Championship game. Anyways, I'm sticking with my word on picking against the Emperor, and I'm taking Tuckman in this one 42 to 35. I don't know how you can predict a high scoring game. Yes, Alex Guy may lack offense, but his defense can get the job done. This is all gonna come down to who can score at least once, and I got Alex Guy. 14 to nothing. That'll do it here for YTFL Game Day, and we'll see you once we get back with the post game show. And now down to Alex Guy once more for his 20 plus minute commentary. 63,000 here to witness Game Theory. Try and defend their home turf against number two criticals. Game three recently broke number four. Just straight up robbed it from Jack Septiguy. So here we go. Criticals won the toss and they seem to get the ball first. Criticals, or excuse me, Talent will take the snap. He's looking, finds Criticals down the right side and he'll be tackled by Matt Pat for a first down. Huge first down for Team Criticals. Talent looking to throw again. Looking for criticals again. Matt Pat almost picked it off. He's had a tremendous couple of days at defense, but anyway, that drive will seem to stall as Matt Pat will look to throw. Finds his tight end for the first down. Game theory seems to be driving down the field now. They're in criticals territory as Matt Pat will throw a pick. I spoke too soon, I guess. And that'll give the ball right back to criticals in his offense. Talent. Play action. Looking to throw. 
looking for criticals and Matt Pat will just take it right back. He said, thank you, come again. And he'll get it around the 36 yard line. Game Theory is going to end up driving though. They're inside criticals territory now. This will be first down in 10. Matt Pat hands off to Pittman. He'll get carried a, for a, around four yards, I believe. I was doing math in my head. I'm sorry. Matt Pat to throw. He'll throw it to Sanchez, I think is his name, for the first down. Game Theory driving down the field. Pittman going nowhere. That defensive line just stuffed him, so that will force Matt Pat to kick a field goal. That is right down the middle. 3-0 to zero Game Theory on top. They draw first blood here. Talent will take the snap, looking to throw. He finds Win down the field. Criti if Criticals can't follow up, Win sure will. That's a touchdown for Team Criticals. 7 to 3. A very fast answer from that Criticals offense. Showing why they're number two in the league, as Pittman will get probably a yard on the play. Very quick answer by Team Criticals as Matt Pat will throw the screen to Pittman, who will be stopped a few yards short of the first. That drive stalls. Talent looking to throw here. Tight end taken down. Looking for Criticals, but he drops it. Very hard to tell from that angle. Talent will look to throw. He fires, looking for Criticals again. He drops it again! What is up? Criticals is not having the day he had a couple weeks ago. He'll fire the screen to Criticals. He'll only get probably three yards on the play. Talent looking to throw again. Finds Criticals. He'll get it. He'll get the first. Finally. About time if you ask me. Talent looking to throw here. Finds win and he'll go in for the touchdown. So now it's 14-7. Criticals on top of Game 30, and that one's picked off by Criticals. Holy cow. Everything is going so... But wait, there's a pass interference called on the linebacker. So that's 15 yards for Matt Pat and a free first down. He'll throw to his receiver. I couldn't catch his last name, but nevertheless, it is a first down. Matt Pat to throw. Finds his tight end on the corner route for a first down. They're driving now. Matt Pat looking to throw. Incomplete. I think, yep, there it is. Incomplete. You'd think that'd be a pass in advance, but no. And Pittman will be tackled. And that is the half. 14-3 to at the half here. As Matt Pat will get the ball to start second half. And Pittman will get a... will just truck through people to get a first down. Much needed. Game theory looking to throw. Finds Temple, I think is his name, and he'll get a few yards on the play, probably around seven. So second down, Matt Pat to throw, finds his tight end for the first down. Big first down for Matt Pat. He'll throw again to, oh my goodness, he was stopped just short. Let's see. Matt Pat to throw, and it's caught. Can he get in? Did he get in? That's actually close. We might have to take a look at this. There he is. He's getting tackled. And that's close. But I do think the ball crossed just before he was marked down. That will be a game theory touchdown. So now it is 14 to 10. Critical still on top. But game theory is down by four here. Chance for a comeback. Here's the two point conversion actually. So it is nine. It w now it is nine. 214. They went for two. They didn't get it. Ignore, ignore that warning. Tharp will get the call and he won't be going anywhere on that play as it is now second. I think he lost here. It's second and 11. And Criticals uh, almost robbed it, but nevertheless, the drive will stall. Matt Pat looking to throw and he'll go down on the play. So now it is second and long after the sack. Matt Pat, I don't know why they're running it. Holy cow. And Criticals just drags Pittman down with him. I'm guessing we're in the fourth quarter now. Matt Pat to throw. He finds Pittman on the screen. Pittman unable to go anywhere. I think he got back to the original line of scrimmage. But as that drive will stall, Talent 
looking for criticals. He finds them, and Matt Pat will just grab the threads of his jersey and pull him down. Talent to throw again finds a tied in who was leveled by Matt Pat for a first down. They're on the 50 now. Critical, or excuse me, talent to throw, and he'll go down. As the drive will stall, Pat, Matt Pat hands it off to Pittman. Nothing going there. I think dangerously close to their own end zone. I couldn't see. Matt Pat to throw. Fires looking for the tight end. Picked off. Oh no, I think this is all downhill for here for game theory. Talent looking to throw. Finds Win, who holds on. Got his feet down too. So that's first down for criticals. As Talent will find Wint, no, he dropped it. He couldn't hold on. The drive will stall. Matt Pat still has a chance. He's, he's looking to throw. Finds his receiver down the middle of the field running the dig. And that will be a first down. Matt Pat to throw again. Finds his receiver. Seemed to be running a curl. And he'll drop it. Third down now. Matt Pat looking to throw. Incomplete. I believe this is fourth down. No, not not fourth down yet, apparently. Matt Pat to throw. This may be third down here. He fires, and that's incomplete. You think that'd be pass interference, but it's not. They get away with it. Fourth down. Matt Pat to throw. He'll go down. 14 9 criticals over game theory. And here we are, Jack Septiguy. We got the battle of Septiplier here. Markiplier versus Jack Septiguy. This should be entertaining. Jack Septiguy will get the ball first after winning the toss. Sam hands off to Jack Septiguy. Speaking of which, he won't get much on the play, maybe a yard or less. Sam will give it to Jack Septiguy again, and he'll get some this time. Maybe around oh four or five yards, but that drive will stall. Tiny box Tim to throw. I don't know why he threw it right there. Uh, but he'll go down for a loss. Tiny Box Tim to throw again. He finds Dark Applied. No, he dropped it. Tiny Box Tim to throw. Looking. Finds Marshall down the left side of the field. He'll hold on for a first down. Tiny Box Tim. Play action. He'll look to throw. Finds Dark Applier on the screen. Dark Applier shedding tackles, and he'll finally be brought down for a first down. For Team Markiplier, Titan Box is him to throw. So I don't know how they didn't find the ball and pick it off, but he'll find Dargaplier on the curl. First down, and he'll find Dargaplier once more. Touchdown, Markiplier. They strike quickly, 7 to nothing. Sam will hand off to Watson, and he'll get around 5 on the play. So now it's going to be 2nd and 5. Uh, Sam will take the snap here, and he'll throw an incomplete pass. So this is third down and five most likely Sam to throw almost gets sacked off the helmet of a Markiplier player drive stalls tiny box Tim will throw the screen to Dargaplier again Sam is all over it he won't get much tiny box Tim looking to throw once more and it's picked off by Sam who oh boy if they can only have the day they had against PewDiePie Sam will look to throw Scrambling around, fires, he got the tight ends. What I can't read his last name, but I know it's not Sun. Sam to throw again, find Shaq Septiguy, so he'll get himself some receiving yards. He'll get a decent gain as well. Jack Septiguy just shedding tackles. I swear it's between him and Margaplier for the running for the running back spot. And Jack Septiguy won't have anything going. Sam will look to throw, fires to his tight end, Lee. Oh no, wait, it's G, I remember now. His name is G. And anyway, it's first and goal here, and Jack Septiguy will just walk it in for the touchdown. Let's see, did he actually get it here? I think he did. We got a perfect good we got a perfectly good view of the ball, and he did. Nice athletic play by Jack Septiguy to reach across and break the plane. So now tie game at seven. Markiplier needs to answer, and you all know I don't show special teams that much. I thought I missed the touchdown, but I didn't. But anyway, he'll take it. And he lost the football. Markiplier lucky enough to get back on it. So now it is first down and 10 going Markiplier's way. It could have gone the other as Marshall will pick up the first down. 
near the 50 yard line. So now Team Markiplier is driving down the field. Sam almost went downhill, but Darkiplier will get the first down. Sam, or excuse me, Tiny Box Tim almost went downhill, and he'll actually get sacked on that play. Tiny Box Tim will throw, and Darkiplier will get the first. Tiny Box Tim and Darkiplier seem to have better chemistry here. Tiny Box Tim throws to Darkiplier, almost intercepted by Sam. He just dropped it. Tiny Box Tim to throw. It's caught by Martinez, and he'll lower the shoulder and get five yards after he trucked a man. Tiny Box Tim to throw. Finds Darkiplier in the end zone again for another touchdown. 14-7, Markiplier responding. Sam to throw. He's got his receiver. He'll go out of bounds, but if he didn't, he would have had a touchdown. Nevertheless, they are in Markiplier territory. He's looking for Antiseptic Guy, who will go down, and it's 14-7 at the half. Markiplier is up, and Markiplier will get the ball here to start us off in the second half. Tiny Box Tim to throw, looking for Marshall. Marshall miraculously holds on. They normally drop the ball with those kind of hits, but Marshall is another case. He'll find the tight end across the middle for another first down. Tiny Box Tim is on a roll here today. As speaking of which, he'll look to throw. Backing up. He's looking for Darga Plier. I think they're going to get him for pass interference here. They will. Sam will get called for the pass interference call as we look at the replay here. I don't know why they call these stupid penalties. As Martinez will go in for the touchdown. Things are slowly getting out of hand. But yeah, I don't get why they would call him. I mean, that was an intentional pass interference. But unlike people running into each other, that's pass interference. Whenever the ball is not there, as Sam will throw for a first down. For Jack Septic Guy, Sam will hand off to Jack Septic Guy, and he's going nowhere. This defensive line has done a great job containing him. As Tiny Box Tim will take the snap, and he'll give it right back to Jack Septic Guy as the linebacker will get leveled. So now it's first down for Jack Septic Guy in with great field position. Jack Septic Guy will get the ball for small gain as Sam will throw here, and that's picked off by Margaflyer. These offensive flops for Jack Septic guys are not gonna do it here. Tiny Box Tim to throw. It's caught by Dargaplier and he's shedding men. He could probably go here. Maybe it's a foot race. Yes, he will. Touchdown, Team Margaplier. But however, Jack Septic guy has driven down the field and they respond too late. 28 to 14, and here we go. This is actually a good one. We got the bottom feeders here. Battle of the bottom feeders. PewDiePie will defend his turf against Mr. Highlight, or attempt to anyway. I don't know if you call this defending. This is the first play of the game, and that's intercepted by one of the linebackers, and he's off to the races. That's a pick six on the first play of the game. Seven to zero, Mr. Highlight. Holy cow. PewDiePie will look to throw, trying to redeem himself. Just right through the hands of Timmy. He couldn't haul it in. Mr. Highlight will get the ball here. First and ten. And that's picked off by PewDiePie. By Team PewDiePie. Not PewDiePie himself, excuse me. But great job getting the ball back. They need to. They're already down seven. But what did they do? They gave it right back to Mr. Highlight. Picked off by one of the linebackers. So now Mr. Highlight... As his quarterback will take the snap, finds his inside receiver, he's just stopped short, so that drive will stall. PewDiePie will take the snap, he throws it, almost intercepted for a third time. That would have been the third drive in a row that ended with a pick. As he'll throw to their tight end, who won't get much as the drive stalls. There's the snap, he th he's looking to throw, finds Mr. Highlight 84, I don't know why he's over there, I'll have to fix it. as their quarterback will take the snap and he'll go down. I think their quarterback's last name is Ferguson. Ferguson will take the snap, finds the tight, no, the tight end will drop it. So now they'll settle for a field goal, easy three points, you'd think. He barely got it, actually. I thought he would miss it, but no, he barely got it. So PewDiePie, down 10 to zero, will find Timmy, and Timmy just went off in this game after after all of this, PewDiePie, looking to throw again, will find Timmy. 
So that's his second straight catch. There's another one of my goofs, and Timmy will get in the end zone for a PewDiePie touchdown. So it is 7-10, PewDiePie down by 3. It's Mr. Highlight trying to drive down the field. Great work by the PewDiePie defense, stopping them short. Ferguson will hand off, and he'll get the first down. He's looking to throw Ferguson, scrambling around. Thought he had a lane, but the defensive line too elusive. Drive stalls. PewDiePie will throw to Timmy on the screen. And he'll level Mr. Highlight, and he'll barely get the first down. Got it by inches. PewDiePie to throw here and finds Timmy. He'll get leveled by Mr. Highlight. But nevertheless, PewDiePie is driving down the field. He'll find Timmy again. That's his fourth pass caught. And they'll kick a field goal before the half. It is good. So now we are tied up 10 to 10 at half. Basically, like we never like we never started the game. It's 0-0 essentially. At this halftime here. So here we go. Mr. Highlight will get the ball to start the second half. And they won't be going anywhere really. And Ferguson will throw again. He's he'll go down, actually, on that one. And that drive will stall PewDiePie to throw. It's intercepted. Are you kidding me? That's the third pick for Team PewDiePie this game. They have got to stop it. Excuse me. And the running... I don't know what happened there. And that drive will stall PewDiePie to throw. He'll throw it to Timmy. That combination seems to have worked. Timmy just leveling people, getting the first down. You always got to lower the shoulder. Timmy is doing, is doing just that, as Mr. Highlight 84 does just that and levels Timmy. But Timmy doing all of the work, it seems like. They can't... Oh, my goodness. I was going to say they can't guard him, but he'll drop the ball there. So now he'll go to the tight end, giving Timmy a break. The tight end will get the first down. PewDiePie to throw. Finds Timmy open, and he'll juke right into the defender. First down for PewDiePie, nevertheless. He's looking, fires for his other receiver, he can't hold on. I think this is the time, no, he won't go to Timmy because he'll go down there. So now it is like third and long for PewDiePie. Timmy getting the first, absolutely saving PewDiePie's efforts here. Let's see, he'll go, no the heck, your kid, is he going to take this one back? I think he will, it's picked off by Mr. Highlight. Here comes one of the... No! He, he will take it back. He's going to outrun one of the linemen. That is another pick six for Mr. Highlight 84. He had himself a day at defense with all the tackles and turnovers he got. Timmy will be driving down the field. Team PewDiePie has to respond here. Caught by one of the receivers for a first down there. PewDiePie looking to throw. Finds Timmy. Can he get the first? He'll juke a man, and he barely will, again by inches. Timmy is winning the game of inches here. PewDiePie finds another receiver wide open, and they respond quickly. Touchdown. Tie game, Ferguson. Oh, no. Is this where it's going to derail here? If PewDiePie scores, it's basically over. Ferguson, they can't connect with the receivers. That's another incomplete pass. Here we go, third down. They're going to try and run it. That defensive line is catching on. They're too strong. If PewDiePie scores here, the game is basically over. PewDiePie looking for Timmy, but it's picked off by the linebacker. That's the fourth pick today. Ferguson, they got another shot. No, he'll go down. Second down now. Ferguson to throw. Finds it. No, he, Mr. Highlight dropped it. So that drive will stall. PewDiePie with another opportunity. And Timmy, he can't hold on. Leveled by Mr. Highlight. PewDiePie to throw. Oh, no, he, if he turned around quick enough, he would have got it. But Timmy got the first down. PewDiePie to throw. Timmy is wide open, but he won't get the other foot in bounds. That's an incomplete pass. PewDiePie looking. Finds. No, that was almost picked off. Ferguson now they've they've gotten shot after shot after shot it's he held on and we're going to overtime ladies and gentlemen there's the rules we would like to read first team to score wins there are no ties that's all you need to know
as Mr. Highlight won the toss, so he'll get the ball first. Ferguson to throw. Incomplete. You're kidding me with all this. Ferguson hands the ball off. He'll get. Holy cow. He's going to be stopped just short. Drive stalls. PewDiePie hands the ball off. He'll fire it downfield to Timmy. That ball was almost picked off by Mr. Highlight. Hit the ground first. Incomplete. PewDiePie to throw. Looking for Timmy. Oh, whoa. Incomplete. Timmy took a shot. Drive stalls. Ferguson. Looking to throw. He'll go down. They are just outside the end zone. PewDiePie's defense doing everything they can. Is this going to be the game winner right here? No, he shanked it. PewDiePie still has a shot. Are you kidding me? The kick is no good. We are still tied at 17-17. PewDiePie. Play action. Looking to throw. Finds Timmy downfield. In they lost the football recovered by Mr. Highlight. Are you kidding me? They get another shot to end it here. Ferguson to throw to the running back. He gets nowhere. Good coverage by the PewDiePie defense. Ferguson throws another screen. He'll, he'll get a few yards. PewDiePie, as the drive will stall, finds the tight end. They're trying to end it, and that is the end of the first overtime. We need two overtimes to solve it here. PewDiePie to throw, finds a tight end. Incomplete. You're kidding me. This Mr. Highlight 84 defense is doing everything they can. But Timmy is wide open down the field. Timmy chokes him in and he's gone. PewDiePie wins 23 to 17, the most exciting game yet. Holy cow. Two overtimes to solve that one. And here we go to our prime time game. This is one you all have been waiting for for a long time. Tuck Man versus Alex Guy. I teased this on the Reddit back in April. I think around 68,000 came here to see this one. Sold out. Alex Guy won the toss and they elected to receive Masters to throw. He, oh, not a good start. Great defensive start by Tuck Man, though. Masters to throw finds Alex Guy. And Tuck Man's all over Alex Guy right now. Holy cow. Masters. Play action to throw. Alex Guy is open. He'll get tackled by the safety. First down for Team Alex Guy. Masters to throw. He'll go down for a sack. Tuckman given that the Alex Guy offense a hard time. Masters to throw to Alex Guy. Alex Guy, Tuckman just bare, just got his shoelaces and brought him down. Masters finds Alex Guy. Alex Guy is setting them up to score. It is now first and goal. Can Team Alex Guy score here? Masters to throw. He will. He'll find the other receiver. Touchdown, Team Alex Guy, 7-0. With low to throw incomplete on the play, so that drive will stall. Alex Guy seems to be driving down the field right now. He'll throw the screen to the running back, and he'll juke the other way. Won't get anywhere. So now it's like third down. And short throws the screen to Alex Guy. Who will get the first down, showing the offense how it's done. Masters looking to throw. It is caught by Alex Guy. And he'll go down for another first down. Masters to throw. Finds the running back who won't go anywhere. Masters looking to throw again. Finds Alex Guy open for another first down. First and goal for Alex Guy. And that one's picked off by one of the linebackers. Alex Guy threw that opportunity away. Tuckman now needing something. Again, this Alex Guy defense is godlike, only allowing two touchdowns all year. With low hands off to Moorhead. And he won't get the first stop to short drive stalls. Masters looking to throw. Fires, finds Alex Guy for another first down. Alex Guy is driving this offense down the field. Alex Guy again tackled by Tuckman. He's driving down the field, finds a tight end, Compton, who sets him up again, first and goal. I don't know what they're going to do if they don't come away with any points here. He finds Compton, he won't get it. Masters looking to throw, finds that no, the running back dropped it, and I think they're going to have to settle for a field goal here. 
and they will. So now it's 10 to 0, Alex guy. They seem to be pulling away here. With low to throw, fires it is incomplete. The DB dropped it. With low, hands off the Cobbs. And he won't get much on the play. With low, hands off to Moorhead. He won't get much either. At the half, it's 10 to 0, Alex guy, so a relatively low scoring game compared to Alex Guy's stats. He normally blows opponents out of the water. Tuck Man only down by 10. There, that'll get your hopes up. A whole other half of football. Tuck Man could come back. Holy cows! The tight end, he tries to go for the tight end, but he's level. Drive stalls. Masters to throw. Tuck Man will pick it off, gets his first pick of the game. Other than a few plays, Tuck Man has really been all over Alex Guy with low to throw, but they'll give it right back to Team Alex Guy. <laughs> Masters to throw. Looking, finds Alex Guy, who will catch it. He'll be, he'll be brought down a few yards short. He'll get like five yards, actually, on the play. Alex Guy avoids the sideline and is brought down. It was just a foot waste race he couldn't win. Looking for Alex Guy. He'll drop it. So this will bring up second down for Team Alex Guy. Masters to throw finds Alex Guy. He'll get leveled by Tuckman. Tuckman all over Alex Guy. Excuse that. And Alex Guy with the catch. They call it a touchdown, although it should have been incomplete. With low to throw. It's caught by the tight end son. Moorhead with the handoff. They gave him... I thought they gave him the first down. So Masters to throw finds the other receiver who will get a few yards on the play masters looking to throw off the play action finds alex guy who will get leveled by tuckman masters to throw finds compton who avoids tuckman and will go out of bounds alex guy trying to score again let's see can they no masters will get sacked not yet possible though masters to throw looking for alex guy pat should have been a pass interference on tuck man but it's picked off by the safety nice hit by tuck man with low to throw find sun who will get the first down actually by a long shot with low will get sacked so alex guy defense is still holding here with low looking to throw finds more head from the screen We'll get back to the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. With low looking, finds the screen, finds Cobbs, who won't get anywhere. With low looking to throw, they're just throwing screens now. This one was the Palmer. Now it's fourth down for Tuckman. Absolutely last chance to score. And Tuckman drops it. 17 0, Alex Guy wins. And here are the rankings at the end of the day. Not much has really changed in the top four besides points and all. Alex Guy at number one, Critical is number two, Tuckman number three, and Game Theory still at number four. However, the really the only switch that happened was Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. And Markiplier moves up to number five, Jacksepticeye down to number six. And uh, Markiplier looks to be getting in the top four. What a huge turnaround for him. Jacksepticeye needs to turn things around for him. Net starting next week. Anyway, uh, nothing much happened in the bottom two besides the record. PewDiePie uh, is at still at number seven at one and three, and Mr. Highlight still at number eight at zero oh and four now. <sighs> He's got. Hopefully, he can get his first win soon. Now back to Jonathan J. J. Johnson. Now back to Jonathan J. Johnson, an epic voice guy for the post game show. Well, we had some exciting games this week. I thought Tuckman and Alex Guy would be a little bit closer, though. Like I said, Alex Guy's defense is godlike. As of right now, he's outscored opponents 109-14. to He's only allowed two touchdowns all season. That is insane! Well, that's good and all, but now it's time to get to our players of the game. For offense, we have Timmy, who came in clutch for PewDiePie today, scoring the game-winning touchdown against Mr. Highlight. For defense, we're going to give it to Mr. Highlight, who had a pick six and a fumble recovery late in the fourth quarter. He gave a valiant effort, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough to defeat PewDiePie. 
Well, next week's schedule looks like this. And I don't think Mr. Halley will get his first win anytime soon, as he has to go up against Alex Guy on primetime. One game to watch, though, is Game Theory versus Markiplier. Both are 2-2 two and two and have hopes to get in the top four and maybe make the playoffs. Keep in mind the top four at the end of the season will make the playoffs. And that'll do it for us here. I'm Jonathan J. Johnson, alongside my partner Epic Voice Guy. And on behalf of the AGSN crew, we would like to thank you for watching. And so long. Thank you, Lauren. The man, Evan Turgenev, has been missing now for two weeks. They say he was last seen doing his job as an announcer for a small series called the YouTube Football League, which is in its first season. If anyone has any information on this, please call your local police department or call 525-838-7305.